Welcome back. Let's take a look at another application of a multi-step equation. Here we have the following scenario. We have Peter and Paul and they live a hundred miles apart. They plan on meeting for lunch at 4 p.m. If Peter drives 60 miles an hour and Paul drives 55 miles an hour, what time should they leave their houses in order to be on time? Um, we're given the, uh, the, the equation here, the formula distance equals rate times time, so we're able to use this and we're going to round to the nearest minute. Okay, um, distance problems are always fun because of the simplicity of this formula. Um, when we set it up correctly, it makes what sounds like a difficult problem um, actually quite simple. So let's start by drawing a picture um, to get a better idea of what's going on. Okay, so let's say, let's use this line right here, and this line represents the distance between, between Paul's house, Paul's house, and Peter's house. Peter's house, okay. So this distance right here, we're given as 100 miles. They live 100 miles apart. Okay, so we wanna know um, what time do they need to start leaving if Peter starts driving in this direction at 60 miles an hour and Paul starts driving in this direction at 55 miles an hour? Okay, we're given these two pieces of information right here and right here. And we want to know what time they need to leave in order to be on time for a four o'clock lunch, um, somewhere in the middle. Um, probably Peter's going to be a little further away and Paul's going to be a little closer because Peter's driving faster. But nevertheless, our formula is distance equals rate times time. We write this as D equals R times T. Okay, this is our equation. Here we have two unique rates of rates or speeds um, driven for the same amount of time. Uh, recall that they're leaving their house at the same amount of time. A single distance of 100 miles is being covered. So we can say that 100 miles is equal to 55 in miles an hour times an unknown amount of time, t. If we let t equal time, which actually it does, it's already it's already defined in our formula, plus 60 miles in miles an hour times the same unknown amount of time. So this expression describes Peter, Peter's traveling, and this expression describes Paul's traveling. So together, they're traveling 100 miles. So now we actually have an equation to solve, so let's go ahead and solve it. Um, we can combine these two. This gives us 60 and 55 is 115 T equals 100. We want to isolate our variable, so we'll divide by the number out front. We'll do the same thing on this side. 115 and 115 cancel. That leaves us with T equals 100 over 115. And we always want to simplify our rational numbers and this simplifies, if we take out a factor of five, simplifies to 20 over 23. Now note, this isn't our answer right here. Um, our rate is given in miles per hour, so our fraction is just the part of an hour that it takes for Paul and Peter to meet. So we wanna convert our time um, into minutes. So let's go ahead and do that. We wanna take 20 over three and multiply it by 60 because this is part of an hour and there's 60 minutes in an hour. So if we multiply this, we should get something around 52.17 minutes. I'm going to round it to um, the nearest uh, hundredth of a second. Okay, so 52.17 minutes, or actually a hundredth of a minute actually. Um, so if Peter and Paul want to meet at 4 p.m., they need to leave at 4 p.m., minus 52.17 minutes. Minutes. And that would be somewhere around 3.08 p.m. You don't wanna leave at 3.09 because you'll be late. So they wanna leave approximately at 3.08 p.m. Okay, so this is a simple distance problem 
And um, as long as we set up our equation, going from a word problem to an equation, we get it set up correctly, that's basically the hardest part. And remember, we want to, there's three things we want to check when we find out the answer to a word problem. We want to know if it makes sense. Um, does it make sense for them to leave at 3.08 if it takes them 52 minutes to get there? And that definitely makes sense. So this is actually our answer right here. Now, we want to know if it solves the original equation. Well, if we plug in 52.17 in for t, um, that would actually, well, actually we would plug in 20 over 23 for t, because that's the original units. And we plug it in right here, that should make sense. So we would convert back into hours, because 60 and 55 are given in miles per hour, so time is going to be given in hours. So we're plugging 20 over 23 in for t, and the equation should hold true. We also want to know if we actually answered the question being asked. Um, you'll be surprised at how many times that we come to an answer and that's not the answer that was actually being asked. Um, we want to know what time should they leave their house in order to be on time. Um, a lot of people would just stop at t equals 20 over 23 or 52.17 minutes. And that's actually not what's being asked. They want to know what time they need to leave. And that's actually at 3.08 p.m. So I hope this is helpful, and I'll see you in the next video.